Live from WBFF in Baltimore, this is Fox 45 News at 4. A call about a person in crisis in Cockeysville leads to a barricade, a manhunt, and eventually a total of two police officers shot. You're looking at a new booking photo just released of David Linthicum. For the past two days, we've been closely following the search for this 24-year-old. Police say Linthicum shot two police officers. One of them is on life support. I'm Kai Jackson. And I'm Maxine Stryker. Linthicum's run came to an end early this morning after being accused of leading police on a chase from Baltimore into Harford County and an eight-hour standoff. He's now been charged with two counts of attempted first-degree murder plus assault and gun charges. We have live team coverage of the latest developments in this story. Let's begin with Alexa Ashwell and what we know about the condition of the officer who was shot last night. Alexa. Yes, just within the past couple of hours, Baltimore County Police confirming this detective remains on life support here at Shock Trauma. As for outside of the hospital, it's been rather quiet uh, throughout the day. We have seen uh, some members of law enforcement. We're told the detective's family is here uh, and with him. This detective, who the department has not yet identified, was flown here by Medevac now 18 hours ago. That's when we last heard from Dr. Scalia, who was described the detective's injuries, saying he had been shot multiple times, including to his torso and extremities. Take a listen. He is on life support. He is going to need uh, a significant amount of reconstruction. We are putting our plan together now. Uh, he'll be with us for a while. Now, investigators detailed the detective was wearing a bulletproof vest when he was shot during what they described as a, quote, fast and swift encounter with the named suspect, David Lithcomb, again, suffering critical and life-threatening injuries. This was the second member of the department to be injured in this manhunt. Police and the county executive both speaking to this. We work with these officers and we have deep relationships with the officers and we rely on one another um, for, for our safety every day. So it, it, it hits deeply when when things like this happen to, to our community. Our prayers are with him. I ask that uh, not just all of Baltimore County, but anyone with an earshot uh, of my voice to lift up the officer in your prayers, um, surround him and his family. Uh, this is indeed uh, a very difficult profession. Now, the first officer who was shot injured in the manhunt, we're told, was also treated here with shock trauma, but has since been released. As for this detective, again, the department not yet naming him, but saying he's been with the force for 15 years. We expect to actually have an update in just minutes from the county FOP. I'll have that update for you coming up at 5. For now, reporting live outside shock trauma, Alexa Ashwell, Fox 45 News. All right, Alexa, thank you. So as we told you, David Linthicum is now in custody, charged with two counts of attempted murder. Olivia Dance has a dramatic end to this nearly 48-hour manhunt that lasted until early this morning in Harford County. We're at the Falston Mall Shopping Center in Harford County, and this is close to where David Linthicum was taken into custody. Now, police found him somewhere in these woods behind the shopping center, ending this multi-day and multi-county manhunt. Before the sun was up on Friday morning, an intense manhunt turned into a standoff with Harford County sheriffs. Throughout the standoff, uh, particularly as we were able to get a little closer to him, uh, our deputies used multiple less lethal tactics to try to encourage him to surrender. The man behind the manhunt, 24-year-old David Linthicum, hiding in the woods near the Falston Mall shopping center. We had eyes on the suspect. We. Uh, we had him pinned down, hunk he was hunkered down. Uh, where he was was in a very wooded area amongst a lot of large boulders and rocks trying to seclude himself. Uh, he was unable to seclude himself from the uh, helicopter from Baltimore County uh, and the drones. Kyle Hoffmeister, a Hereford County resident and his friends heard it all unfolding. We heard what sounded like gu uh, gunshots coming from the general direction of the Walmart, which is right up the street. Um, we couldn't tell if it was like flashbangs and all going off or if it was gunshots, but we were hearing multiple with 
pauses in between. After surrounding Linthicum, multiple law enforcement agencies inched in closer and closer. A point in the closing hours, we were able to establish some communication with him. And finally, at approximately 543 in the morning, despite Lithicum refusing to surrender, police successfully and peacefully took him into custody. Our community is safer this morning with this individual in custody where he belongs. But this all began nearly 48 hours earlier in Baltimore County when 911 received a call for a person in crisis. When our officers arrived on the scene, a family member escorted them to the subject who was in crisis. During that exchange, the subject discharged a firearm. With the manhunt now well underway, according to police, Linthicum shot another Baltimore County officer multiple times, escaping police again by stealing one of their vehicles and driving all the way to Harford County, eventually stopping near the shopping center. I think we can credit a Baltimore County police officer who, as I heard it on the radio, was able to get stop sticks out in front of the vehicle and flatten his tires and obviously bring the very dangerous part of any vehicle pursuit, bring that car park to an end. Olivia Dance, Fox 45 News.